Hi Aries, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your June 2017 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising Signs. So Aries, over on Vimeo, I will be posting an extension to this reading um, where I'm only focusing on love and relationship matters. So if you're interested in learning more about what the month of June has in store for you on the relationship front, please head on over to Vimeo and find me there. I will have the link listed below. And if you're interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head on over to northeasttarot.com. All right, Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Seven of Wands. So this is the overall energy for you, Aries, for the month of June. Now the Seven of Wands isn't necessarily bad um, for some of you. Yes, this can be a defensive energy. So you might be a little bit more defensive in the month of June, um, or people might see you as defensive. But then for some other Aries, this is a very passionate, courageous energy. There's something that maybe you want, something that you're willing to fight for. And for some of you, you're not going to budge. So this is you standing firm with what it is that you want. The Seven of Wands is what I call that warrior spirit. And underneath it, wow, we have the star which is a very powerful healing energy, but also it does represent um, wish fulfillment. So I think there's something that you're wishing for, Aries. So there's something that you want. You're very passionate when it comes to this. You're very passionate about this. And so, yes, some of you are coming through a little bit more st strong, a little bit more passionate in regards to that. Um, right at the center, I have the Knight of Pentacles crossed by the King of Swords. So for some of you, there could have been maybe a financial opportunity or news and that has come through from an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra individual with the King of Swords. For some of you, this could be communication um, that is significant here right at the start of the month, maybe from your attorney with the King of Swords. This could be an attorney or someone who works within the, the legal or ju justice system. So there could be news, there could be information coming your way from this person. And then for some other Aries, I mean, this could be you actually coming through very practical, grounded. Maybe you're moving forward very slowly but surely when it comes to something with the King of Swords here. This is more of that very serious, logical energy. So for some of you, maybe you're very determined, very much in the mind, planning out the details with this energy here. Very, very focused. Um, and not moving forward with something unless you're sure. So I think that some of you are, are, are definitely very focused on the details. You're planning things out. And maybe for some of you, things are happening slowly with the Knight of Pentacles. So with when his energy is at play, things could be developing slowly. Um, but at your foundation, I have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a solid new beginning something that's going to add more stability or security to your life in some way. So I do see this new beginning. In the past, there was this new beginning that came through for you. Now, maybe this was the very early stages or something beginning. It could be maybe a, a job offer or some sort of new beginning that has started for you, Aries, in the past, but maybe now things are progressing slowly. So you could have landed a new job, but maybe you're waiting to start that job. Um, you could be dealing with delays for some of you with the Knight of Pentacles. Things are moving forward very slowly. Or maybe um, this might have something to do with an inheritance uh, or maybe even like a legal matter for some of you. In the more recent past, I have the Ace of Wands. So you have two Aces here, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. For some of you, it might be a relationship. It might be a relationship with an Earth sign person or maybe with an Ear sign person. With the Ace of Wands, this is the most passionate card within the entire deck. So for some of you, this could have been, um, you know, the very early stages of a, a new relationship. Uh, if that's the case with the Ace of Wands, there is a very strong physical attraction here. 
And then for some other Aries, I mean, this could have been like a creative idea. Maybe you're starting your own business and maybe you are very cautious with the Knight of Pentacles moving forward very slowly. For some of you, this could be you manifesting something new within your life very slowly. And because maybe things are happening very slowly, for some of you, maybe you even have to defend this idea. You have to defend, defend yourself in some way with that Seven of Wands and then the Five of Swords crowning you. So just take caution with this. Maybe there are some areas that you feel defeated. You feel challenged in some way. You've had to defend yourself. with the five of swords maybe you've had to defend a relationship you've had to defend you know your beliefs and then for some other areas you know the five of swords can be a more aggressive energy and because maybe something has been progressing very slowly this could be you thinking about actually taking on a more aggressive approach especially with that seven of wands here because you are coming through very passionate and courageous for some of you this is you thinking about maybe getting a little bit maybe more aggressive in regards to this Because coming up around the second week, I do have the Wheel of Fortune. And this is things happening at the precise moment that they're meant to happen. So this is change that's coming in. This wheel is turning. So around the second week could be really uh, when, when many of you are starting to really see things move forward or starting to see things happen. And maybe some of you were dealing with an Aquarius or a Taurus. Maybe a Leo or a Scorpio. Um, but this is, you know, some good luck, a very blessed energy that's coming in for you. And I think that around the second week is where where you're really going to see some progress in regards to these new beginnings, things starting to move forward. And with the Seven of Wands, you know, sometimes this card gets a bad rap. Um, but the Seven of Wands, because you've stood firm, because you were not willing to back down or compromise or quit, you're actually going to be rewarded for that because you stood firm with what it is that you wanted and you didn't give up. Uh, is the reason why you will be successful and the position of your power you have the page of swords so this could be some some of you some eerie speaking your truth hearing the truth getting down to the bottom of something something could be revealed there could be some sort of news or communication that's coming in might have something to do with a family matter with the Ten of Pentacles, a business, a family matter, an inheritance, assets, property, things like that. Maybe that is why some of you felt maybe defeated or challenged because this, you know, might be something that's been ongoing. You've been making progress slowly. For some of you, maybe reaching out to family around the second, third week, reaching out to family, working with maybe some family members in regards to this. The need to maybe communicate with, with your significant other or with family members. For some of you, maybe you're waiting on moving house because in the hopes and fears position, I have the four of pentacles. Fours really speak of your foundation, your security, your stability. And I think that that's exactly what you're hoping for. You're hoping for that financial stability, that security. For some of you, I think that maybe you're waiting on moving house, you're, you're waiting on news, you're waiting on communication. You could be waiting on documents to be signed. 
waiting on communication from your attorney, fearing having to wait any longer, and then the energy that you're leaving the month of June with, uh, Aries, and going into July with, is we have the Nine of Swords. So just stay out of your head, try to stay positive. For some of you, this is you worrying a lot, maybe losing sleep, but what I'm going to do is pull you I'm going to actually pull three clarifying cards for this Nine of Swords. So looking at this Nine of Swords for Aries, energy that they're leaving the month of June with. Clarifying this Nine of Swords for Aries. For some of you, communication is very significant here. Right around the second, third week of the month, maybe you need to speak your truth, Aries. Maybe you need to, for some of you, maybe you need to communicate with family members. And if you do that, it can help with this Nine of Swords. This is just a minor arcana energy. Very interesting. So clarifying that Nine of Swords we actually have the Eight of Swords with the Lover's card and then the Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is around money money matters, family matters, business matters, and then for other Aries, this is around a partnership, a relationship. For some of you, maybe you need to make a decision, you need to make a choice, but with this energy here of the Eight of Swords, this is what I call that self-restrictive sort of energy. So you might be delaying this, putting this off, fearing the worst, very much in your mind. This energy is hindering you. So fears and anxiety are maybe preventing you from making a choice. If you make this choice or make this decision, you will eliminate this energy. But for some of you, you need to maybe get grounded, you need to be practical, and you need to make a decision. And then for some other Aries, of course, you could be waiting on a decision from an earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And that's why we have this, this swords energy here, because you're worrying. So try not to worry so much, Aries. Try to stay out of your head stay grounded that's going to be something that helps you but let me pull you an additional guidance card financially financially i think it's going to be a great month for you i really don't see you coming through that emotional really only needing to take caution caution with this swords energy here additional guidance for aries for the month of june This is beautiful. Hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. This is wonderful. This couldn't resonate more. You need to stay out of your head. You need to remain positive. You need to stay hopeful, Aries. You need to keep the faith. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. So if you were looking for a confirmation that the worst is behind you, it is, it is. Um, you need to stay positive, stay focused, stay grounded. And for some of you, not backing down, okay, when it comes to this. You've come this far, you're almost done. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. You also have the Ten of Pentacles here. And tens represent cycles that are completing. Um, you have these aces here. In the past, this was the very, very early stages of, of, of some beautiful new beginnings that you are manifesting, okay, Aries? So I do hope that you found this reading helpful. If you would like more insight focusing on love and relationship matters, please check me out on Vimeo 
where I, I will be doing a reading for the month of June, uh, only focusing on matters of the heart, love, and relationships. And if you're interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head on over to northeasttower.com. I wish you all just a great month of June. Take care.